My name is Sarah from Addictive Math Inc. and in the last video we talked about what bar modeling is and how we can use it to solve word problems. And so in this video I'm going to show an example of a word problem that we can solve using a bar model. So we have a problem here and it says that Jake is three years older than Kyla and two years younger than Larry. The total of their ages is 41 years. How old is Jake? Now we can solve this algebraically, but we can also work this using the bar model, which is geared towards younger students or more visual learners. So the first thing I'm gonna do is read back through the first sentence and draw out a picture to describe it. So Jake is three years older than Kyla and two years younger than Larry. So I'm going to draw out bars um, to represent the ages of each of the three kids. So we have Jake, we have Kyla, and we have Mary. Okay. So Jake is three years older than Kyla. So I'm going to draw a bar to represent the age of Kyla. And then I'm going to draw another bar for Jake that's three years more than what Kyla is. There's Kyla's age, and then Jake is three years older, okay? And Jake is also two years younger than Larry. In other words, Larry is two years older than Jake. So Larry is whatever Jake is, so I'm going to draw that there, plus two more years. And then it says that the total of their ages is 41 years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a bracket and write out the 41 here to represent that all of these quantities that we've drawn out total to 41. Now we have some that are known where we have a number inside and we say, oh, this, this quantity is two. And we also have some that are unknown. And in fact, our unknown quantities are the same. So, in terms of algebra, if we were working this algebraically, that would mean we would have one variable that appears three times. In this context, with the picture, what I'm actually going to do is remove the nodes. So this is our equivalent of iso isolating x. Um, so, I'm going to take all of our nodes. We have three, three, and two. So, that's a total of eight. So this whole thing is eight right here. And I'm actually going to get rid of it. So when I remove this eight, I need to also subtract it from our total over here. Okay, so now I have a new statement. I'm saying that three of whatever this quantity is, is equal to 41 minus eight. So let's simplify this over here. We do 41 minus 8, which will give us 33. And then we're saying that 3 of these bars is equal to 33. So that must mean that each individual one, since they're all the same size, is 11. 33 divided by 3. Now we can go back and solve for the age of Jake, because none of our quantities are unknown anymore. So, going back to our original bar model where we said that Jake is three years older than Kyla, it originally looked something like this. Now we can say that Jake must be 14, Kyla must be 11. Larry must be 16. And that's how we arrive at a solution, finding the age of Jake and his friends using a bar model. <laughs>